Taco. You did it? Do we want to do some target practice with the bows real quick? Get the feel for it? Absolutely not. No, we're experienced hunters. <laughs> Did you buy the new uh, site? Uh, no, have you? Yeah, I already had it. All right, let me go to it then. Um, it's, a, it's the same site, it just lights up. Pretty cool looking. Okay. And it's the bright sight single pin sight, right? 3,000. Yep. <laughs> yep. This better be good. Oh, that hurt. 3,000, right. Let's see what it looks like. Um... Sights. Oh, it's not in there, is it? It's in this. Backpack. Where's my sights? There it is. Right, so now, if we go to this, sights. Can I put you on there? Yes, I can. What's changed? Hit, uh, while you aim down it, uh, press middle mouse button. Taco, that didn't do nothing. It didn't light up? No. You have it attached? Did you go into your inventory? And, I uh, absolutely I... have it attached. Mine lights up. Did, did I just get scammed? No, mine lights up. Mine works fine. I mean, I, w I wouldn't say that I'm an expert at Hunter Call of the Wild Taco, but I'm not far off, and this wasn't here before. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a landmark right so maybe it's a special hill. Let's go get that free XP. Yep. Oh, I bet I bet you that tree has some kind of significance behind you. All right, what does it say? Old Mueller. One of the oldest yep. in the world. This beech tree dates back to the 11th century. That's incredible. Really cool little Old facts, tree. those things, aren't they? Yeah, and that's another thing I like, is that you can actually read what you unlocked right when you do it. Because before, you'd had you'd click it, it'd unlock it, and tell you what it was, and you had to go into your codex to see what you... Yeah, it brings got. it up now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. With a little picture and everything, I like it. You know what I think about this tree? Same. <laughs> it's, it's still standing, though. That's why it's been there since, since the dawn of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we supported it a little bit more pins in it. Really? I didn't hear anything. I saw it. Yeah, the way you're facing right now. Right about halfway up the hill there. Up to the right a little bit. That's not a good sign. I did I, I didn't hear or see anything, so we could have desync. Um just fall back into the trees a second, see if you can bring it in. I think I actually might have a bow collar. Yeah, I had mine too. Oh, I can actually hear your boar caller now. I think it depended on the game, because the very first day that I got it was uh, Call of the War Pig. This will and always will be referred to as Cry of the War Pig because of that first episode. <laughs> That's, that was a good one. What the heck was that? <laughs> just remember it, because I was just getting ready to start the episode. <laughs> and yeah. Something snuck up on me that sounded like it crawled out of hell. I still can't get those yet, those scents. Uh, this one is just the Eliminator. Should be able to get that. No, I can't get them, I've checked. Oh, really? You yeah. The what level was you when you, uh, when you got them? I'm 21 at the moment, can you remember? Uh, idea. You have to highlight it and it'll tell you when it's available. You're 21 now? Yeah. Nice. I'm 39 yet. I haven't played much so I haven't played it at all since we played last. Yeah, that's right. Rub it in. Have you, have you, have you played around with the chambering of the rifle yet? No. No, I have not. Fire it. Fe have, have a feel of it. Yeah, I think you'll like it.
Yeah, like I don't mind that. That's... What about like? Can you see actually chambering like that? That that animation. Oh, it looked cool that as well. It's a little derped up, but you can see how he uh, he pulls the um the bolt back on the rifle. Yeah. It definitely gives you something to think about anyway, because like when I did that solo episode, because um, mm -hmm. obviously without you there, I was trying to, you know, just focus on trying to take some targets down and just collect as many credits as possible. But in between of me lining up the shots, I was more concentrated on just trying to hit the vitals or any point that I'd have some significance. And like I'd fire and then I'd hear was click because <laughs> it didn't chamber anything. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like it. Especially with a bolt action. I mean, semi-auto, it's going to reload anyways. Uh, you uh, run out. I think but, that's uh, what I'd take into the wild if uh, if me and you ever did this. A semi-auto? Yeah. I like bolt actions better. They they seal up better, and they have... They're more... I guess when it comes to, like, target and precise aiming, bolt actions seem to have better uh, grouping. Just because you get less gas escaping from the back end, plus... Uh, when you you using a semi-auto, the gas before it leaves the barrel, it, that's what actually rechambers your your next round or reloads your next round. I'm gonna be honest. Most of what you just said went over my head, but I think <laughs> I think I know where you're coming from. The uh, well, there's a little like, like with a semi-auto uh, about halfway down the barrel. There's like a little another little tube that comes up or down off the side of the barrel, and that just allows some of the get the back pressure push and it it back pushes into basically your chambering of a gun and it, it pushes on a spring and it just it reloads then or loads the next round right right so when your bullet gets to that point you're going to lose a little bit of pressure from this pushing that to the end of the barrel right so you're just I, they're, they i mean they're, they're still accurate they make them you know they make them do you know the most I know about stuff like that, like the, the technical side to, to rifles and stuff, especially hunting? My, my, um, my knowledge, as far as it goes, is when I was a kid, I had um, a couple of BB guns, and one of them was really underpowered. Like, you'd load the BBs into the magazine, you'd fire it, and, it, and it'd fall like a foot outside of the uh, actual <laughs> pistol. So... Yep. I was playing around with one of them one day because like all my friends had really good ones and I, I kept getting shot and obviously I was getting destroyed by my friends. And then one day I decided to take a spring from, what was the spring from? I think it was actually from like a wardrobe door or something. I can't remember where I got it from, but I managed to squeeze it into my BB gun and I somehow created an absolute beast that became too dangerous to use and play out with. Like <laughs> Because whenever I shot anyone with it, it made like it really hurt them really hurt them so yeah i can understand how that works in terms of like what you were mentioning before when you were saying about the grouping though like if this was a hunting scenario me and you went out to go and hunt something i think i'd need a fully automatic rifle i'm not i'm not because the last thing <laughs> i'm thinking of is like grouping i'm just like you know what i'm just not missing today taco can be well a when you're sighting in a gun the idea is when you first get a gun you you uh, you shoot it and you try to figure out where the bullet went you know, you get a general idea, but so you put it, you have a big backdrop, like a big piece of wood or whatever, and then a target in front of it. Yeah. And wherever you hit, top right, and then you adjust your sight real quick to try to get it within the target. But then you shoot five rounds at a time, like five round bursts. And uh, you see your grouping and your average, like if you're shooting up and right a little bit, then you adjust your sights um, accordingly to make it, you know. But then the idea is once you get, start hitting the bullseye area, then you try to squeeze your grouping in, so with it to, to follow with it. I don't know how many feet you're going to be shooting away. If you're shooting uh, 50 feet away, then you know you want it like a three inch to a four inch grouping on See, average. See, that's uh, that's where me and you are different, Taco. Because whereas you you just mentioned, then you work with like a couple of inches of grouping. I work with millimeters, Taco. <laughs> <laughs> millimeters. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> kind of difficult playing with the hood off because I can't tell if I'm invisible or not. I know. It turned around. It did? Nice. Yep. We're going to sway down. I'm spraying some eliminator. I think I have roe deer scent as well. I can never remember which. Roe deer caller number eight. I still think they should add ghillie suits to this game. It'd be nice. 
I know it's probably a bit unnecessary in a, in a hunting sim. Where they can both of them. But I imagine like hunters do use ghillie, ghillies, ghillie suits. Am I right in that? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. They're a little more cumbersome just because they do get in the way. Rifle with a rifle or a shotgun would be easy. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. <clears throat> I've never used a shotgun in uh, the hunter yet. Give me a rough distance of where they where they were. Are they, are they uh, just over the hill in front of us or the one behind them? Yeah, yeah, they should be just over the hill right there. Oh, okay. See, I don't know if I'm in cover, so I'm just being extra cautious. Should be right next to that little tree right next to it, so you should be Okay, I can invisible. hear footsteps now. Yep, to the left, to the left of us. Yep. I can see one. Um, have you got eyes on another? No, just the one. Here, the other one walking. No, here's the other one up top here, top of the hill. Well, the one that was over to the left has now rotated and gone back to where it came from. I'm going to try and bring it in again. Just get ready with your bow if you can. You just take this one down. Okay. Run right at you. <laughs> it got spooked somehow. That was really random. Why did it... Yeah, that was weird. Oh, wait. That one's still there. That one's still there. Can you see if you can bring it in, Taco? Yep. Go ahead and take the shot if it comes close enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> this game sometimes. Here comes. Here comes. Yeah, but the beautiful. <laughs> Taco, I don't know if you can see this. If you look directly up. From where I am, can you see an arrow in the tree? Nope. <laughs> I um, I right clicked, and then for some reason it just fired up into the tree. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the hill now. Give out a warning call. Let's... Oh, there it is. Yep. I can try and bring him. You get any rocks that we can lie on? Do a Robin Hood shot. Go for it. That's to the right. A little bit short. That's a male as well. Ooh, I was just short of it. Oh, there yeah, it you spooked it. Right it. Yeah. <laughs> See, Taco, that was your grouping. That was your grouping right there. That it was a grouping, but that's a normal shot that you would never take with a bow. <laughs> <laughs> so that far away. Oh, is that like a full... Oh, here we go. You know what? Uh, there's no stealth involved. <gasps> oh! Stampede! Stampede! Taco! Got it. Got one. <laughs> Hit one. Hit two. Okay, I hit one. I definitely hit one. Here's one right here. Yeah, I saw, I saw this one flop down. Was that like a... This one I got or is this one you got? I think that's the one you got. Direct shot right in the chest. Uh, oh, nice. Right Very nice. Yep. I wonder if that thing still works where you stood next to a tree and you kind of... Semi invisible. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sometimes you go completely oh, wait. invisible. Yep, someone's coming up directly in front of us. Yep. It's just stopped. Straight ahead. Yep. Yep. Mail. Take the it hill. down! Take it down! <laughs> oh, the tree got in the way! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, can you see my it's like stuck <laughs> yeah. to the side of the. What the heck? <laughs> I shot like right here, and it's stuck in the air. 
I'm glad we both had failed today. You never feel better now. What the heck? This is a this is a bad uh, hit marker or hit zone for this uh, tree. <laughs> the uh, the hit box for this tree is absolutely yeah, massive. That's the word I'm for. Yeah, the, it's a little far to the left on this one. Well, actually, you're not uh, wrong. You're not wrong because it's not in the tree that is actually like an invisible hit box outside of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was aiming for the vitals. I should have went right by the tree. Oh. That was amazing. I think if they implement like these tree stand things or any kind of, you know, tree house structure, it's going along the lines of being able to build your own base, and I don't think they want to do that. Yeah. I tell you one thing though, Tack. I'm getting really sick of this fox not coming in. Hanging out down there. Oops. He, he's literally place. done a full U-turn and walked away. I see it. Do you have a shot with the rifle? Just take it if you need be. Oh, is he stood still? He's, he's literally just behind the tree. I think I'm just going to use the rifle, yeah. Yeah. Just standing there facing away. What? Hit him or no? No, that completely missed. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down to the trees having huge hitboxes. <laughs> oh, you saw it? Yeah. Oh. I think I hit. I'm pretty sure I hit him. Flesh, stomach, and left lung in one shot. What the hell did you shoot with? Oh, 270. Yeah, it's overkill for a fox. Oh, <gasps> diamond. Really? No, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say one thing though, and this is for everyone at home watching the video. I am seeing your uh, your tweets, guys, like of the pictures that you're sending of the diamond kills that you're getting in this game. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really jealous with some of them that I've seen because I think one of them was on. It was either a bear or it might have actually been a bison. Um, and I remember the range being ridiculous. And then I, I only didn't notice it with diamond until I kept staring at it because I couldn't work out what the animal was. And then I just looked in the lower left corner. It said diamond kill. I was so jealous. Okay. Let me mess around with the level up stuff. So I've got one skill point. Let's see what we can change. So skills. I can't remember what I was pumping last time. Um, I might have got that. Imp uh, improvised blind. I haven't pumped anything into Ambusher yet. You have, haven't you, Taco? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's the only reason I didn't pump this one is because you have to mess around with Descent Tinkerer. Like, to unlock the other tiers. All right, let's just... Yeah, I'm going into tier, two, tier three of uh, Ambusher. Yeah, I haven't even unlocked the first one yet. I'm still on um, the Stalker one. Right, tier three, we've got uh, Innate Triangulation. Oh, wait. Oh, no, yeah, I did. I got, I got the Improvised Blind. I remember looking at that one last time. Endurance. I might get that. But then again, there's no need for that now because of the ATVs. Because obviously this right. has been in the game longer than the ATVs. So uh, innate triangulation. Each level decreases the size of the animal vocalization. So obviously that'd be a good one. Um, weather prediction. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for that one just, just so I've got it. Just so I can uh, see a, a, a more of a general direction of where the animals are coming from. Right. Now, in this last update that we had... I'm like 90% confident I saw something to do with like a new mission or a new challenge for multiplayer. So I'm just going to take a second and see if we can find it. I think what they might have done though is maybe change the names of the actual challenges. Um, Fallow King Challenge, Hawkeye Challenge, unless it's just different because it's a different map. That'd be a really cool one to do, the, the uh, Circle Root Challenge with a bunch of people in the game. Because you have to harvest like... Right yeah. Four or five animals. Oh. Yep. I mean, the, I think the best with the bow for us would be probably sharpshooter challenge or something, something distance. 200? Based. Do you think a bow could reach that? Yeah, you just have to hit it. It doesn't say to kill it. You just have to hit the animal. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we need, we need to get on those challenges. I think it'd be kind of fun if we got a few people in. And then maybe did like a challenge episode, kind of like what me, you, and Proto did. Yep. Um, on that note, though, guys, as well, I'm sure you guys, if you do follow the Hunter, um, you've heard of the cryptic messages that the devs have been posting out. It is kind of cool, um, but at the same time, because I don't have any patience with waiting for stuff, and this is this is nothing on them or anyone else. It's just me. I really want them to drop a map 
really quick. I just I just want a brand new map like yesterday. And if you haven't been following what they've been doing, they've basically been releasing these kind of cryptic messages. I won't spoil it for anyone because you can still check it out on the Steam. If you go to their community page, you can, I think at least as of the time of this video, you can still go to their um, Steam page and take a look at the uh, clues that they dropped. Um, but by now, most of the community knows pretty much about what's going on. We're thinking, at least I can say, speak for the majority anyway, for the people I've spoken to and for you as well, Taco, I'm guessing, that it's going to be some kind of snow map, which will be super sick. It will be so cool. The only thing is, though, Taco, based off what you know, I mean, I, I've got an idea of what the animals might be based off, like, documentaries and stuff I watch, but what do you think? Just name three animals, just off the top of the head, that you think might be in a snow map. Uh, moose. Okay. A bear and, and uh, some sort of cat. Like they're talking. Well, they already announced what they what it, that it is. It's Did they the, confirm if it was going to be in it though, or is it still kind of a cryptic message? The, the links. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they said. Yeah, they 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 listed what animals will be there, and everything. What 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 to expect to find. So. See, I I want to know what it looks like now as well. So, I mean, that's cool that they're adding new animals, at least, with the new map. But I do get quite a lot of messages from uh, from people watching the videos, guys. I honestly don't know when new stuff's coming for the game. I get it at the same time. You guys get it if you have the game as well. So, I mean, as soon as I hear about it, I generally just jump in. And if, uh, if Taco is available, then we make a video on it. So, I mean, I'm guessing we are going to be covering the new map and stuff. Because one of the things that I want to know is if they do have a snow map, are we going to have snowmobiles? There has to be. Ooh, that's a good call. There has to be. That. I know ATVs yeah, can go on certain terrain, but like snow? Mm, I don't think I don't think ATVs are going to cut it in a snow map. So it'd be interesting to see if they gear up to maybe just change the, the same mechanics of what they have with the ATV with a few changes, maybe stiffen it up a little bit, just change it into a snowmobile. Because could you imagine that? It's like cruising around on a fun. snow map. That would be fun. Power sliding, then you run into a lynx that wants to tear your face off. It's so <laughs> good. The lynx are pretty docile. Oh, they they're are? more skittish than anything, yeah. They're not like a mountain lion where if they're hungry, they're going to go after um, bigger animals and stuff. Um, yeah, lynx are pretty... I don't know, they might make them a little more, because, I mean, like, bison in this game, or they, they attack if they get shot, right? But... In all actuality, they think they're going to run from you. Yeah, it all depends what they make the characteristics of the new animal like. Yep. Which reminds me as well, um, if you have, if you guys haven't tuned into the uh, the devs live stream, um, I do recommend if you do enjoy this game that you do that because, again, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just a heads up to you guys if you are interested in the Hunter. Um, I do recommend that you jump into their live stream because you do get either hints or, you know, a little bit of information that you might not necessarily get from dev notes and stuff like that because they, they just directly interact with the viewers and one of the things that they recently did was it was a kind of Q&A session where the uh, the people that play the game could suggest things that could be added to the hunter and a lot of people said fishing which was kind of interesting which I don't know what it is I was telling Taco like 10 minutes ago or pretty much just before we started this episode I have this really weird itch to want to fish in the game I don't know if you're the same taco, but I just I just want to go fishing. Oh but yeah, I mean, that's not the kind of just chilling out. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. But then, like, if the the next thing would be like if we're fishing, I'd want like a a couple of cold beers, you know, just kicking back <laughs> and stuff. But it oh, actually it actually has like an interesting question because I do like reading what you guys say about these types of games. And I'd like to know in the comments if you would be able to add something or if you could recommend something to the devs to add to this game. I mean, obviously aside, because I know what you guys are going to say anyway. Aside from it being a, a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot, that, that's definitely number one. What would you guys add to the Hunter? Would it be a kind of a fishing, like a, a, a game mode to, to do a bit of fishing in certain areas? Would it be like planes? I mean, anything. It's anything, guys. There's no limits. What would you add to the game? I always find it interesting reading that sort of stuff. But if you're wondering what we're doing now, today's episode pretty much consisted of me and Taco just having a bit of a chilled one. We wanted to check out a lot of parts of uh, Hirschfelden, which is the map we're playing on today. And uh, we're just kind of strolling through, like you guys have just seen, the, the, uh, the logging area. 
and uh, we're just checking out different areas and hopefully get a few um, takedowns with the bows. So we'll see you guys in a second when we get to the next location. Yeah, yeah, no, I've just experienced it. Um, basically, when you go into certain areas of Hirschfelden, um, the birds become really loud. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I saw... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? <laughs> There's thunder or something? Yeah, you remember Bigfoot? <laughs> I uh, I had my headphones turn up really loud and just a, a um some thunder went off. Yep. Um oh there's a I don't know if you've got these, there's some moose antlers. I don't I don't know what that was. I think it it's, it's some kind of antlers anyway, I don't know if it was moose. There's that thunder again. Oh I saw the lightning for the first time. Oh, did you? I haven't seen the lightning in this game. Yeah, it was just a flash in the clouds. It's cool, though. Red deer, it looks like. Big as they were. You know, if I if I um, was ever able or had the time to build a cabin in a place like this, I think I'd build something like this. I like this. It's, it's simple. It's clean lined. Metal roof. I like it. Easily defended. Easily defended from the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, how did you know I was going to say zombie apocalypse? <laughs> how long have I been playing with you? <laughs> I thought he was going to go straight to bears and stuff on Bigfoot, but no, I was I was thinking immediately <laughs> zombie apocalypse. In fact, no, this would be a terrible place for zombie apocalypse. Do you know why, Taco? Why is that? Line of sight. Line of sight, yeah. Very, yeah, very poor. Kind of what I was thinking, too. Uh, oh, if, if a zombie apocalypse was coming and they, you know, zombies mindlessly, like, busted at your walls, they'd bust your wood over time, I'd go definitely brick. Oh, you would? Or poured concrete. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're not going to get through that. I'm trying to think of a material that's, that's better than brick, but for the life of me, I can't. There is something. Diamond. Di yeah. <laughs> the, be the best... <laughs> The best place to, to live if a zombie apocalypse ever did hit, if you lived in a place like this, would be that island over there. Yeah, yep. That or the cold. You can see the tip of that mountain up there with the snow on it. Because they'd be, they'd be a lot slower in the snow. Well, it's that age-old debate, isn't it? Like, what type of zombie apocalypse would it be? Would it be where the zombies are sprinting? Or would it be where the zombies are slow and kind of, you know, right. very clumsy? The problem with cold is... Dealing with gathering food and stuff, you have to deal with the cold as well. I just eat you. <laughs> but I mean, I'm talking for life. Yeah. Lifetime. Any anyone I come across, their food, fair game, survival of the fittest. I, I think island island life like that would be cool. Yeah, it would. Fish. Be. But you'd have to quarantine that island. Like you would have to quarantine that. Like you wouldn't believe no one on or off. And speaking of fishing as well, in, in the Hunter, this would be perfect for it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, just a couple of seats here. Let me let me just put this away for a second. And then just just throw... What do you... You cast a, cast a uh, fishing fishing rod, don't you? Yep. Cast your fishing rod over there. Just kick back. Look at the view. Take, take a load off, Taco. Relax for a sec. Put your rifle away. We've had a long day of hunting today. Cast your line. <laughs> <laughs> Best I can do. <laughs> there, I'll do the little. All right, let's blink. let's see if this still breaks the game. If I go past where the game doesn't want me to go. <gasps> okay, yeah, it broke the game. <laughs> I thought I could swim. I thought for like a split second the uh, the devs put it in the game. Can you see how you can kind of almost swim? Yep. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> in the deep water, you're under. Water. That's cool. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see any fish. There's no sign of life. We gotta move on. <laughs> Using the bow and arrow uses. Oh, I got it! I got it! Oh, let's go! <laughs> Wait, you, you got the bird with the bow and arrow? <laughs> let's go! Crash. Down somewhere over here. Until you find the body, it didn't happen. I know. 
Flat, flatten down the grass. I need to hit one now. It's going to drive me mad. <laughs> I let it off a lot and seemed to like drop before it, it made it to the point. It was weird. It fell backwards. I can hear a dog barking. I think the farmer's let. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The real high pitched dog. <laughs> I think the farmer's let his uh, attack dogs out on us because we've been in the field too long shooting the birds. A really good thing. That had to have been close. <gasps> Taco! Taco! You hit it? Didn't happen unless it's found. That's what mine did, it fell to the ground at once. So it, it could, I mean, it could have fallen through the world, I don't know. You don't know what the devs have done. I mean, I got it on the video. Mm -hmm. The UF proof. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> nah, I believe you 100%. I do want to Ow. find where it dropped though. There's proof that it disappears. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have five of them. <laughs> I just didn't tell you. <laughs> it's just because the bodies disappeared. That's right. That's cool though. And for everyone watching, by the way, that was the very first shot that I took at the birds. It's going to be these weird choppiness that, uh, you know, just all of a sudden you're looking up and then it cuts to us running. I definitely didn't take like 25 shots before that. Oh, they're coming. Yep. Yep, next to the tree with you. See, another thing as well for everyone watching is we don't know. Oh, they're calling. Oh, wait, warning call. Yeah, I was moving towards you. That's why I think. We don't know if we're actually invisible right now, which I don't think you are, Taco, because you're in between two trees. Yeah. But with yeah, with the hood being so. off, this is all kind of guesswork. <laughs> we're going to get those piggies. Turn around. They kind of just. <laughs> they, they, I think they know something's up. Come on, pigs. Warren calls. Yeah, I'm. I'm staying low. I'm staying low. Let me know if you see them moving. They're just standing there on that road, facing away from us. Giving us the Doris treatment. He does that when she's angry. She'll just turn her back in this face. <laughs> sass. Big time sass. Something really weird happens with my collar. My character holds it, and then when, when, <laughs> when I make the noise, it flicks through my fingers like it disappears out of my hand. Oh, yeah. There's another one to the left on the hill. Another female. That's a whole lot of bacon. Oh, another one. Hang them back in the rocks. Oh, we got we got one right to our left. That's super close as well. Danger close, Taco. Danger close. Danger close. There's so many pigs down there. Take a shot at that first one. Three, two, one. Female is alarmed, but she's not running yet. What is going on with these shots? Oh. No, piggies, don't do it, please. <laughs> I don't think we hit him, did we? I don't think so. We came close with like two shots, but 
It's so hard to judge the uh, the drop from the arrow. What was that? Yeah. Oh, there's another one right there. Is that the wind? Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's turning around. Oh, she's turning around. Yep, she's coming towards us. Nice. I can't see if there's any, there's no, there's no wind, so. No, not that way, this way. She's coming. Here we go. Oh, she's, br she's bringing a friend too. Just a little bit closer. Are you are you in cover, Taco? I'm laying down. Come on, just come a bit closer. We, we need we need every meter we can get with these bow and arrows, please. He's coming. Have you got a visual? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no! What did I hit? I lost it. I couldn't get a shot. I tree in the way. Okay, I hit it. Fairly certain I hit that then. Yeah, I did. It seems like the... um. The arrows have like a, a mind of their own since we last Sometimes. played with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. w one minute you've got them dialed in, and then the next. Oh, this one's well, going. Plays a factor too when it comes to arrows. Oh, yeah, that's true. Slower. I completely forgot about that. So at least we were a little bit successful today. What did we manage to take down in the end? I know you took a couple of deer down. Um, we both shot a bird out of the sky with a bow and arrow. In fact,. For everyone at home watching this video now, I'm going to challenge you guys. I want to know if you guys can do that with a bow and arrow. Shoot out a, uh, a bird out of the sky with a bow and arrow. It's a lot harder than it looks, guys. I think me and Taco combined wasted like at least 20 <laughs> arrows trying to get it done. But so that's probably about $700 or uh, credits. Wait, yeah. For, yeah for, uh, Between us of the uh, ammunition wasted trying to take a bird arrow. down. I don't know how many arrows you get for 700 but. I, I know I clicked that thing a good few times, so, and I'm down to like 10 arrows left or something. But all wasn't lost. We managed to take down a, uh, a piggy in the end. She uh, she was ripe for the picking. We could have definitely taken down more, but I'm not going to lie. The game's been acting up a little bit weird for me today. I don't know if it has for you, Taco. Like, weird glitches every now and again. And not to mention, we're not using it as an excuse. We definitely wanted to challenge ourselves today, but we haven't got the hood on. So we don't have all the tools available. To know, obviously, like the wind, which way the wind's blowing and stuff like that. Oh, that but it is cool. Factor. Yeah, hundred percent. Because you're gonna, if uh, it's blowing right at something you're tracking, then you're gonna try to loop around it. Yeah, it's gonna get spooked, which we did experience a few times as well. But again, if anyone is really into the hunter and you guys do want to feel like you want to challenge something in this game, then definitely turn the hood off and maybe try and experiment a little bit with the bow and arrow because it's definitely one of the harder challenges that we've set ourselves. But I think, guys, I'm going to claim this trophy right now. Let's say, take a look at what we got. We got flesh on the first shot. Flesh, sacrum, coccyx, pelvis, intestines. So it was two shots. I only thought I hit the thing the once. Nevertheless, we got ourselves a piggy, guys. But I think this is where we're going to end it. So, Taco, thank you once again for joining me, my friend. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like below, guys. And we'll see you all in the next one.